Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm glad y'all showed up so we can talk about uh, Ashley and Michael. They didn't get a lot of time in this recent episode, but again, she's having the baby and all of the interesting stuff about Michael ain't happening on the show. It's happening outside, like all the mess tend to do. So I want to just do a little quick conversation, talk about what happened on Watch What Happens Alive and that attempt to explain you know, pictures and all that, but it don't explain the one where whoever that woman is in the hotel room, how did a fan get a picture of you and your bear and your flat arse? How did that happen, sir? Okay. We know that there's no chemistry. There's no smoke. There's no fire. You're like a loan officer. Okay. It's giving me very much family members, but not in the biblical. Y'all don't know each other biblically in my opinion, but look, we're not here to drag Ashley and we're not going to make too much fun, but I'm curious, like aside from him and in, in, in the net worth of $20 million, like why do you put up with it? You are intelligent. You have to know what's going on. So I wanted to talk to y'all and just see what you all thought about this and go over a few points about the episode. And since we're talking about Ashley and Michael, maybe we can expand upon, you know, what they gave us, it's it's weird. And they try to talk it up. And, oh, yeah, we're doing things different. And ooh, la, la. And ooh, this. And so many holes. That's disturbing. It's, no, it's, 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 uh, no, I, I have way expect him to hand her a Watchtower pamphlet. Like, I, the dynamic between the two of them, I'm not getting any kind of, like, you know, carnality. Nothing that takes it beyond, you know, they could sit and watch Hallmark Channel together. I, I, they can eat chicken noodle soup together. They can go scrapbooking. They'd make great friends to go out to like the Antiques Road Show, or you know, maybe do a little bit of a uh, 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 needlework or some uh, crochet. You understand what I'm saying? Remember back in the day, needlepoint was a huge thing it was very much similar to the like painting by numbers and this that and the third and some people had nothing but time and i imagine that they would probably make something a bit more interesting if they were doing needle point than if he's trying to point that needle at her so let's talk about it and let's see what you all have to say i'm glad y'all are here um hopefully you all are with the fool la la and the Sha Na Na, uh, as I am. There is a review, so hey, check it out. Um, I think it looks pretty darn good. And we got a tutorial channel up. We've got a Patreon up. Um, I'm about to record another video for the Patreon. You're about to get a legendary reaction to Whitney Houston singing All the Man That I Need Alive, 1991, Welcome Home Heroes, during Desert Storm, one of the most iconic live performances and none other than Whitney Houston you want to make sure you are there but anyway how are you doing um that was my monologue I I, I do be monologuing I do be monologuing I mean I really do be monologuing if you're just joining us please hit a like in the video it's greatly appreciated don't forget to share QK is already you know hey pieces of Brie what's going on hey Mr. Spiller right I think Ashley has a certain has certain ticks security and the other false abandonment issues but i'm saying like you couldn't i mean uh, and i hate to sound like a jerk but i i i hate if he if he didn't have the net worth would she even be bothered is all i'm saying right uh what's up hu i'm glad you're here thank you very much golem was looking for his ring again child I mean, it's giving me very much. I need a Molotov cocktail to be able to get with that. Okay, you know what a Molotov cocktail is. That's what you toss into a building to blow it up. So just throw one on me because I definitely wouldn't want to be hopping on that pop. What's going on, Anna? Uh, you saw end of the last season, Ashley is out of her depth. Mike was going to do what he wants. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, let me know if the Patreon link works. I placed it in the chat for you. Uh, I can put it as a pen to post if it does, which uh, let me pin it. If it does work, just let me know. I'll keep it pinned. But if not, I will re-enter it hopefully correctly. And I've already got one video up on the Patreon. I'm going to put another one up. And again, it's just one tier, $5.99, I know. But look at it this way, y'all. Even if you're thinking about, hey, I'm not really doing that. That's perfectly fine. No, no. And I want to make sure I say this. I'm on camera and all this and move the microphone over a little bit. But I want to make sure I say this. All the support is amazing. So if you like the video, 
share the video, watch the video, sit in the clouds, never say anything. Uh, if you are a member, if you send a super chat, if you send a cash app, if you send a PayPal, if you want to do the Patreon, that's amazing. But the, the thing about having the backup channel now, that's for tutorials and having a Patreon, it gives me an option. And if anything ever happens, if I get deleted for whatever reason, there's a place we can go. We got our live. We can go live there. You can do I can upload things. I can interact. It's another way for you to get my content and support me. And it's better there because we don't have to worry about what YouTube does with like the copyrights and the content idea where, and y'all know, I really enjoy doing reactions. And now I can give y'all the reactions I've been wanting to give you. I can go off about different dynasty scenes. I can sit up there and do my soap talks. Now I can talk about the classic episodes of young and the restless and bold and the beautiful. And actually, yes. Yeah, so if you're excited, Hopefully let me know. It does work. Thank you. Hey, Miss Song. I think Ashley has let, let it slide for too long. Hey, Shanitra. Mm, love you. Um, I'm glad you're in the chat. If you all are looking for a good dose of mess and substance where you've got reality talk, you got some porch stuff, you get the draggings and you get some substance, some crown jewels, message and food for the soul. Then go check out Shanitra, the mod that you see. Um, type in the name just like that and her channel does come up um, and just check it out and see what you think um, uploads and lives and I think it'll be really good for you we can have late night co convos it could be I'm telling you I've got a lot of good ideas and there are a lot of things that I cannot do that I could do even with music or even with listening to music and then they can help set them oh I've got so many amazing ideas now so this is just on, on the heels of what happened with Bondi Blue, her channel has been reinstated. So congratulations to her. And I'm glad for her because we have to think that could be any of us at any time. Uh, 11 years of work. I mean, I don't even know how to process that. And, and it's the thought of losing it. I have five. You get what I'm saying? So we're here. We're talking about Ashley. We're talking about Michael. What's up, Amethyst? I got me a little bit of a light cooler. It's just something just to sip on, okay? Treated my glaucoma earlier, so I should be pretty good to go. Yeah, yeah, I, I got some good ideas about the Patreon. And um, for some reason, my member post, I've been post, I post, I made a members-only post, I made a public post, I made sure to, pro I, I don't know what's going on, but the, because I, I, the people, the members are like, yo, did the live happen? I'm like, yo, I, I'm doing everything I can. And what I'm going to start doing is making like a little one-minute video and say, yo, I'm going to make the members live. You know, I'm going to start doing better with that. But let me know what you want as members on the YouTube side for the members. And those who do Patreon, please let me know. And I'll be, do, be sure to do that while I'm doing the other channel. And again, I'm not abandoning this. I'm still going to be doing everything else. But I have to, like Bondi was saying, like a, lo a lot of people are doing, you have to diversify and you need to have as many options across as many platforms as you can just in case something happens and it doesn't totally disrupt you you understand what i'm saying so i've got a lot of stuff that you don't have to worry about if you're a supporter and you're like well you know i show up in the chat i share the video i like it i like you for that so don't worry i'm not abandoning anybody um yeah thank you very much um do some shorts with quick upcoming news with something like that hey princess oh yeah absolutely absolutely that one members only live was a Sunday because I figured based on my analytics and my audience and when it says people are on and just doing a little bit of deep diving, I think there's a good opportunity on a Sunday for members because, you know, just remembering, I want to remember them too. So remembering supporters, members, Patreon people, all the different platforms. But why are we here? Woo child, I had to take a breath on that. We're talking about Ashley and Michael. And uh, I've been... You know, doing my, my my walks again, I'm about to start hitting my weights again, you know, so I can try to get cut up child and, and try to get a little bit of sexy back, okay, in my later years. But um, I wanted to talk about this situation with Ashley and Michael, and I found a really good article. I'm going to go ahead and copy the link. I'm going to drop this in the chat very quickly. So y'all can go in ahead and grab it, read it now, or like follow along later. It'd be really, really, really helpful. Uh, so here it is. Hopefully it fits. I think it does. There we go. Oh, let me turn this off my bag. Because I typically keep my... Oh, thank you. Okay, I saw that. Thank you very much for joining the Patreon. 
So I'll be sending a personalized message um, very soon. Thank you. Um, realityblurb.com. So I check, um, check out realityblurb.com. What's going on, Jam? What's up? Shout out to everybody in the chat. My question, look. Michael Darby responds to the leaked photos. My question is, why is she putting up with it? Is it really just the $20 million? I'm asking y'all because I'm telling you all what I think. She's smart. She's intelligent. She's not stupid. It's going to sound kind of messed up. But I do believe there was a, she was cognizant. And look, I know that I'm putting up with a lot of crap. OK, I love my children, but it's, it's advantageous that my children are here. OK, it cemented the deal. That's how I see it, because unless she's got some kind of like a uh, Benjamin Button kind of fetish kind of thing where, you know, maybe she can't walk down the aisle where the Gerber baby food is kept because the balding baby does something. to I don't know. I don't want to know, though. I don't want to know nothing about that life. OK, but unless it's given something like that, <clears throat> because the picture that I saw. OK, and y'all know I'm, I'm LGBTQIA elemental P community, right? And I looks and I didn't want to see that. OK, I didn't want to see that. I ain't got no time to be look. I, I used popsicle sticks when I was making little log cabins for arts and crafts or vacation Bible school. I used popsicle sticks, you know, to 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 to, to sharpen the edges. OK, and pretend that we had a shank. OK, how we knew about the prison culture. It was beyond me at a young age. But for things of that nature nefarious things unfortunately watching sister act two and the backdrop for the whole all state music competition was popsicle sticks but you're not gonna sit up here and play in my face and put them popsicle sticks all out michael your explanation about and i understand it was a softball underhanded pitch that you were designed it was designed for you to knock out of the park you knew it was floating out there you knew the episode had just played and you know how it looks that Ashley is going through this and she could be experiencing postpartum depression again and you are just out here gallivanting around. You already sit up there and you just put the, you employ the shaggy school of thought. It wasn't me. You was allegedly on the little grinder apps, the little jacked apps, allegedly it wasn't me. You're going to sit up there and say, well, you know, we go out sometimes together, sometimes apart. And you know, People take fans, take photos. But my question is, how is it that you got your back turned and we're looking at your popsicle sticks, your backside, and how did they get that camera angle? What point of view was that? I've had the Note 210, the 20, whatever. I've had all kinds of fabulous devices, DSLR, whatever, and I love me a mirrorless camera. What type of, what, 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 what type of, what? Did you go down to the spy museum? What do you have? Did you go back in time to the Simpsons to get the spy camera? You need to answer these questions, man, because you sat up there and you tap danced around and did everything but address the obvious. OK, Ashley, she's gorgeous. Her smile is amazing. Here we go. Another one of my proprietary ideas for celebrities or people of marginal fame. Ashley, go on ahead and be about the business of um endorsement. Go on ahead and be about the business of getting with like Colgate Crest. OK. And let that million dollar smile be your ticket to what you really want to do. You've got two beautiful children. You can sit up there and get you another nanny. Hey, you can get you a personal trainer. He can be cute. Okay. You can sit up there. And when you feel like you're ready to enter the dating world, you should have some fun, right? Ashley been poor before and she's got a plan not to be poor anymore. I hope that post nut was done. Right. But definitely got to be for the bag. I mean, I know people do things for love. And I know that when you're operating under love, you see things differently. I can't tell y'all people that I look back at and I thought they was fine as wine and it was all about love. And I was just blinded by what, you know what I'm saying? And I look back and I'm like, I can't stand that trash. So I don't know. Yummy says she's going to be taking him. She's going to take him. She got two kids and don't work which you probably say is a part-time job. Ashley wins. Hey, Jams, what's going on? Not the spy museum. I'm just trying to figure out how did, how did they, if it wasn't a situation where somebody was in the room with you, dude, how did they get the photo of your, of your popsicle sticks? We over here, we like levitated cakes. We don't be doing no souffle. We ain't be running. We ain't got people running around and making all kinds of noise and stomping, opening the oven door and all this. Nah, because it makes the souffle fall. You're not going to be giving me diminished glutes. 
You literally gave what they drew on Hank Hill when Hank Hill was having the back problems and he couldn't stand up. And it was because he had diminished glutes and he had to have a support system and a support group. And he had to have an orthotic and he had to wear the little saline water bags on his backside because it had to give him a little bit of booty. And once he was wearing the saline water bags on the backside, he could mow the lawn. He was able to be friendly. Peggy liked it. Bobby liked it. Luann liked it. Everybody liked it. But lo and behold, the one of the little cellane bags popped. And that's what it's given. You need to go on down there and get you an orthotic, a little cellane, a little water bag to sit back there instead of showing them popsicle sticks. How dare you, sir? You sit up here and you get caught in all kinds of red handed and you just play in our faces. You just say, oh, no, I didn't do it. You're grabbing people's on the buttocks. Allegedly, you're on these apps. Allegedly, you are sitting around here playing in our face allegedly but what i can tell you is if that is you sir in that photo that ain't no alleged you got popsicle sticks and you need help now <sighs> um deflated cakes i'm sorry that old man grosses me out there's nothing i don't care how much the bag is there's no way in hell there's no way in hell my conditions would be there would be we, no lights no light fixtures okay it would be giving very much remember the others and remember in the movie, <laughs> she would always keep the windows closed and the drapery closed and the tapestry closed. The others. And it's giving very much the others. You live in a situation, Ashley, where you are dealing with the others. You can't open the doors. You can't open the windows. You can't let no natural light come up in there, girl. You up in there with Nosferatu, child. The undead. I cannot. I never thought for a million years we would get some old young gal to be stuck up in the mansion with Montgomery Burns. I'm done. All I need to know is where is Waylon Smithers? Do you have him buried under a floorboard somewhere? Smithers! That's all I got to say about that. The, it's giving the others, right? The others. That's what it's giving. <laughs> hey, Evangelist, I'm glad you're here. Uh, does anybody remember the name? Was it Kim Basinger? No, it was, um, oh, man, I can't remember her name. Uh, blonde actress. Oh, it'll come to me. But, yeah, I just hope Ashley doesn't bring back that rotted pregnant wig back. I mean, the crunchy wigs aside, I mean, we can give her a little bit of grace, right? You understand what I'm saying? I think Ashley tried to set herself up as best she could in terms of having a, a team in place, having the nanny in place, preparing for the um the postpartum whenever it's on set for her, understanding that Michael is going to be Michael, okay? He will not offer support, right? Yeah, it's given very much that. Montgomery Burns. Excellent. Y'all seen Tom Girardi, Lord have mercy. The stress of justice coming for that ass, sorry, but the stress of Carmen and whatever coming for what, and, and, and have you seen him lately? Lord have mercy. He looks like it sucked all, all that, it's like, uh, y'all got, I'm just saying, you can't do, the. Uh, it's the others, the others, okay? Thank you very much for becoming a member. I sincerely appreciate you. And if you're joining us, uh, please give a like on our video. We're having a good time. I'm sitting up here asking myself a question and you all a question. Why is she with this man? Hoppo, who this woman and Ike, why is she here? So let's share the screen. So I'm going to go in ahead and uh, remove myself if I may. And I do appreciate you all. Um, shout out to our wordsmith family and friends. I'm going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of ragamaru. Okay. <laughs> Oh, man, I saw this video, this clip, and he used the word ragamaru, and oh, you all know that I love vocabulary, and I love where I was the kid that got excited about the vocabulary, because you know in school, you used to have the vocabulary test every week. You were supposed to have a vocabulary list every week. You understand what I'm saying? And I used to look forward to not only the vocabulary test, because you had to know how to spell the vocabulary words when they would call them out. Uh, but then you would have to use them in a sentence. And uh, I really appreciated when I got to like junior high, they um, started doing this thing called visual vocabulary. So they were playing these tapes and it gave me even more words. Yes, I read the dictionary. Yes, I read the thesaurus. I did all of that. Yes, I did. Um, but we're looking at reality blurb. So um, the link is in the chat. 
I'm going to share my screen if I may. And let's go on ahead and have a Kiki and a Kaka and, and just read this article together. Now, I did a little bit of quick research, nothing too heavy. And I did see and was able to determine. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, it would help if I actually turned screen share on. Sometimes I'm smart. Other times I'm the smartest dumb person you're ever going to meet. All right, let me go on ahead and move this over for you. Boom. Yeah. So let's read this together, shall we? I don't think I'll bring myself on camera because I drop frames. But one thing I noticed is when I made the adjustment in OBS to record, the tutorial video is butter. If you haven't had a chance to go check out Jaded University, I'm very proud. <laughs> Please go check out Jaded University. Mind you, it's, it's for beginners in mind, people like us that didn't really get a chance to maybe get the, the, uh, the training or the chance to go to school. Um, or maybe you're just picking this stuff up as you go along, right? And, you know, a lot of this stuff is readily available. And you, you know, go to this website, you go to this tutorial, you try, you fail, you put it out there. And I figured the stuff that I found and the help that people gave me, if I can, like, put it back out, then it will be. So Jaded University, you know, stuff about Adobe stuff, Photoshop, Premiere, uh, some StreamYard stuff. Definitely some OBS once I feel more confident about how to teach it for the OBS. But just stuff like that. So go on ahead and check it out. It'd be greatly appreciated. So let's read this article together, uh, please. Uh, Reality Blurb says that uh, the Real Housewives of Potomac star Ashley Darby's husband, Michael, accused of cheating again, spotted out with another woman, has Ashley spoken out. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did have to do a side eye. I'm like, it was a woman. Work. I... I thought since Juan Dixon's handsome friend Robin, and remember we saw that cute BFF. Remember we they're 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 trying to give it to us. I don't know why Bravo TV is thinking that we're not ready. I don't understand why allegedly Bravo TV is not as progressive as the rest of the world is. If y'all want to go on ahead and give us a preview of the engagement photo shoot for allegedly Juan Dixon's handsome friend Robin and Giselle allegedly. You could have just said, hey, we got a secret. And they could have said, look, we decided that, you know, it'd be really cool to do a little photo shoot together. I already said you give me Xena Warrior Princess and Gabrielle. I think that's a lot better than being Juan Dixon's handsome best friend, in my opinion. If you had to choose between being Bert of Bert and Ernie or you could be Xena of the Xena and Gabrielle down to the Warrior Princess, give me Xena Warrior Princess any day of the week. I, it's creepy i she's gorgeous she's intelligent i don't understand it okay which way did he go which way did he go that's what he gives me michael gives me i used to watch uh a lot of cartoons a lot of entertainment all types of media and i loved uh, uh warner brother cartoons hannah barbera cartoons Disney, it depends. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, and I really, 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 really used to love, you know, the episodes and a lot of the Bugs Bunny cartoons. And there was this like buzzard or like this hawk. And he he had this dopey uh do 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 and 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 he had this running gag and he would be like yes yes he'd be like no 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 oh no 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 and he would be like which way did he go which way did he go and every time i look at this he looks okay i'm gonna tell y'all what i get when i look at this when i look at michael darby i get a lot okay i grew up look uh with the mad remember mad magazines not mad tv mad tv as well but the actual mad little magazines okay and remember, in every Mad Magazine, on the back, there was a picture. But then when you would fold it in, it would be something different. And it would have all this off-color comedy in it. So he, he, he looks like the Mad, from the Mad T, from the Mad, com, the Mad Magazine, okay? And then he looks like the Lemonhead. Remember, if y'all are old enough to go to the Candy Lady, to the Ice Cream Truck, you know what I'm saying? The Five and Dime or whatever. And you would get them big Big old pieces of them big old lemon heads. It'll be a big lemon head as the um the mascot. He's giving me that. He's giving me Ron Howard. It's giving me very much. Remember when we was watching like uh, uh um 
the Andy Griffith show when it went down to the Mayberry and you had Aunt B and you had the sheriff and all that and you had Opie, okay? And Opie, everybody loved Opie. Opie, uh, American Pie, okay? And then ha how, um, um, Happy Days came around and you had Henry Winkler and all this, that, and the third. And they was like, what the hell happened to Opie? Who was this person? And then I guess it gets worse. It doesn't get better. So now you're giving me even beyond. I don't like this at all. I'm asking myself it. It wasn't millions and millions of dollars in a lifestyle. Would it be worth it? If this dude was a manager down to Target and no shade, I'm talking about just making money like we make money, regular money. Would she be bothered? I had to get that off my chest. That's just which way did he go? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Do, 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 do. Anyway, all right, let's uh, get back to this article. <clears throat> Did Michael Darby get caught in yet another scandal? See the pictures that allude to him allegedly having an affair with another woman. The Real Housewives of, hold on, let me pause this. I hate when it does this. No, no, no. No, they won't get me flagged. What are they doing? I hope I didn't get flagged. Okay. The Real Housewives of Potomac season four may, oh, this is way, this is old. <laughs> this is terrible. This was back in 2019, my bad. So this is not new tea, but this article is not. But what happened to the Watch What Happens Live about Michael Darby being down to those photos that showed him sitting down at the bar with the lady. I thought I had that link. So let me get this off the screen and get that one up for y'all. That one I'm talking about, the most recent one with the blonde woman. See, that's what I'm talking about. You cheat so much, we don't we can't even tell. Terrible. Uh let me let me uh fix that. My bad. Correction. Let me move this off the screen for you. And um, let me come back on real quick. I have a, There's an article that I know I have. So while I talk to you all, let me just pull that up. And that is my sincere apologies to you. How Jerome said on Martin, apologies to you. But there's the current one. And it's the one where Michael is addressing it. And it's this one. It's ScreenRant.com. My apologies. Let me drop this one in. The chat so take this link please and my sincerest apologies because y'all know i hate when i be messing up let me drop this in i'm gonna read your comments it's screenrant.com the most recent hold on mad magazine uh thank you so much thank you i just see a zombie from the thriller video yeah but i'm not you know what it it, it does give that old that old Hollywood prosthetic, the old visual special effects makeup, you know, the Friday the 13th, the Nightmare on Elm Streets and all that, you know, all that. Absolutely. Um, you are showing your age. Yeah, I'm, I am. I'm, I, you know, y'all know I'm old as dirt child. Saw someone who looks like Witch Hazel's being exactly. Okay. Yes. Just drive by real life Elks Lodge. It looked just like the Flintstones and I cracked up. <laughs> Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I used to love the Flintstones, yo. The Flintstones, the Jetsons. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no idea the Elks was a real thing. Please hit the like, please, please. The Elks, yeah. Michaels is a bad drunk, but he has never been wrong. Juan is never going to marry Robin, allegedly. So look, I've got the article. My sincerest apologies. Uh, give me one second. This is from two days ago, okay? Not two years ago. Ooh, chow, I dropped the ball on that. I feel bad about that, y'all, but here we are. Here we are. Problem solved. We fixed it. So this is what I want to show you. ScreenRant.com. Let's uh, transition. And when I do get to the OBS tutorials, I will be showing how to do this, how to create scenes, how to add sources to the scene so you can set up how you want different setups for your recordings and things and connecting it to StreamYard and all that. I will be showing that over at Jaded University. Go check it out. All right, so uh, let's read this together. My bad, y'all. This headline reads, Inside Michael Darby's Latest <laughs> Alleged Cheating Scandal. That's terrible. It's terrible when you are just a habitual line crosser. Uh, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. Shout out to Charlie Murphy. Because remember, he was talking about Rick James. And he said he was a habitual line crosser. Remember? This is a habitual line crosser. Look at him. He looks like he's about to swear her in to testify. He looks like he's about to deny her alone at the bank. He looks like he's about to give you your my DNA and me and 23 results. He looks like the type of person that you go through and you say, hey, do I have a case? 
He looks like the type of person that sits there and tells you whether or not you're about to get all of your annuities or you're going to get one lump sum. This man looks like everything but a man that laid down with a woman and made their children. I get no lust. I get no passion. I get nothing. It's giving me very much science created that family. And I don't know what to do. But look, let's read this together. And again, it's, it's going to sound identical to what we just read, but... The Real Housewives of Potomac fans are speculating over a recently leaked photo that allegedly shows Ashley Darsby husband with another woman. I mean, come on. If, if it, It's to the point now where you've got the children, right? Even if, if, if for the sake that their name, their, their heirs, their namesakes, right? They have his last name, right? I don't know what the posting up is giving, but if there was a prenuptial agreement, I don't, I don't know how any of that works. Does infidelity factor in if the like does the language have to be in it what she seems like she's so intelligent that she 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 she's she's savvy enough to work it in there I, I don't know but look the fans of the real housewives of potomac are blasting michael darby once again and speculating about his most recent infidelity alleged infidelity after years of getting caught in compromising situations with other women michael appears to have found himself and yet another questionable encounter with someone who was not his wife. With Michael uh, being guilty of cheating on Ashley Darby in the past, many viewers aren't finding it hard to believe. Uh, the latest rumors surrounding the Australian businessman. New, newly leaked photos of Michael allegedly hanging out with another woman come out as Ashley keeps herself busy being a real-life housewife to their young boys. Ashley and Michael's cheating scandals have rocked Real Housewives of Potomac Season after season, Michael was photographed naked inside of a hotel with another woman shortly after Ashley gave birth. That's the one where he in there showing his little popsicle sticks. We ain't want to see that, okay? You couldn't do no squat. You couldn't do no 30-day squat challenge. Ashley has always opted to remain by Michael's side through it all. Michael has always denied allegations despite the evidence when he was caught in the hotel room, he claimed he had just fallen asleep and that the woman snapped a photo of him without his knowledge or consent. But why is you in? Okay, now I got to take a step. Hold on, y'all. First of all, I have some, I have some inquiries. I, I, there's a couple of things I don't, I don't quite understand. You say you fell asleep. Okay, I understand that. But your pregnant wife recently just gave birth. You already know you look bad because you weren't really around the first time and she was dealing with postpartum. To the point she had to hire a nanny because you don't want to be around there. So you're going to sit up there and tell us, oh, well, I did that. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Which? So you're going to sit up there and say basically that you, which way did he go to the room? Okay, so then you're going to wake up because you passed out. Why is the woman in there? Why weren't you sleeping in your own room? If you were that drunk, that you wound up in her room, shame on you. And if she wound up in your room, shame on you. Tell her Jezebel asked to go on somewhere, allegedly, right? I'm just saying. The article goes on further to say, hold on one second, please. Michael has always denied the allegations despite the evidence. When he was caught in the hotel room, I said he had fallen asleep. He denied the groping claims despite all the legal issues it caused behind the scenes. Also, Juan Dixon's handsome friend Robin Dixon revealed that Michael's alleged attraction to her husband, Juan Dixon. So that's why I'm saying the community knows we recognize one another, okay? Just like I see you, it's given very much avatar, okay? I see, I see you, okay? In each alleged encounter, Michael seemingly is the instigator due to his touchy-feely, in-your-face nature. Most recently, the celebrity gossip page, De Moi, shared a leaked photo that showed Michael allegedly spending time with a mystery woman from anonymous Michael Darby from Real Housewives of Potomac Ashley's husband, the text read. As captured by All About the Tea over on Twitter, Demois responds to one show fan who asks what a season of Real Housewives of Potomac would be without Mr. Darby doing something sus suspect. The blog page replied back, confirming the fan submitted claims while nodding that there was noting there was uh, there was more which allegedly happened that wasn't captured on camera. He was definitely doing something sus. 
but I left that part out because they didn't have photographic proof. De moi said. I like her when she's doing her natural curly hair. I like that. Michael has a scarred history when it comes to being faithful to Ashley. The couple has shared their counseling sessions on the show, which have revealed issues, including lack of intimacy. Michael was not being satisfied in the bedroom. Additionally, Michael has weighed in on speculation about his sexuality by denying having a romantic interest in men. Despite claims that he was found on the gay dating apps Grinder, allegedly, while Robin and Juan have both remained friendly with the Darbies, there has always been chatter over Michael's alleged crush on the former NBA player. Meanwhile, Ashley has been a busy stay-at-home mom to Dean and their new infant son, Dylan Matthew Darby. So look, this is what I want to ask. Why would Ashley put up with all this? Is the money that good? And if the money is that good, allegedly, if she loves it, I mean, should we love it? If she likes it, we should love it. I mean, should we feel bad for her? I can't, I can't wrap my mind around. Just the situation is so obvious. It is so obvious, right? What do you think? The language has to be there, okay? That's about the uh, prenup, got you. Sis, uh, yeah, there is one in here. There is one here in Central Florida. I drove by today and had to stop. It was huge. Uh, let me see. Ashley is padlocking the cash until Michael is buried, child. I mean, he might be like, he might be like, uh, uh, what, uh, uh what, a silly father or silly, not Paul, Paul, not, uh, kids, uh, not my sister and brother, Paul, not Paul. Remember when she went to the funeral and she asked the young, and she asked the girl, well, how'd he die? And she said on top of me, that might be what old popsicle sticks might be given. Okay. And I'm thinking that anybody that's getting down with this man, obviously, he's, he's partying, spending money and being a good time guy, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. You know, you live your life. But I mean, you are a married man, bro. You got children, right? I mean, I don't understand it. Maybe it's a desperate carryover from that midlife crisis he had about 20 years ago. But, bro, you got to let it go. You must let it go. You've been in this midlife crisis for all the, the better part of 25 years. I like Ashley has daddy issues. Juan's friend. Yeah, Juan, Juan Dixon's handsome friend. That's uh, Robin Dixon. Yeah, that's what we that's what I call uh, her. Robin, the handsome friend to Juan Dixon, because at, at best, at best, at worst, we can say that she is a very handsome friend. We can say Juan Dixon's handsome friend, which it would be true. She's a handsome woman. She's his friend. Right. So. By default, yeah. I just really don't want to hear her woes when it all collapses. No sympathy, okay? On top of me. <laughs> oh, see, that's going to be, yeah. See, the play Patreon is going to be lit. It's going to be lit because all the stuff that we can't do here. Can you all imagine? Lord have mercy. I am excited. Um, Buzz Buzzard is not. I just cannot. I mean, mm-mm. Uh-uh. Which one? Wasn't there like a, a, a Muppet that was like a blue bird of unhappiness or something? He was like an eagle or a bird or or something, but he was blue. Mm -mm. No. There's no there's no way. There's no way. Ain't no way. Mm-mm. And then ain't no No, ain't no way. Absolutely not. You're calling Rob and Rob. I mean, as long as you say handsome best friend, I'm good. Uh, why would I wonder why Ashley doesn't want to admit that they had an open that they had have have had an open relationship allegedly? Good question, and it makes me want to ask that question as well. Oh, let me get the thumbnail back up. My bad, y'all can't see the thumbnail. I got this blurred. Uh, whatever. My bad, y'all. Let me fix that. Here we go. Because all I could do is put the thumbnail together and just put the dang on question marks. What the hell is going on? I mean, uh, I mean, a nice, vibrant woman. I don't get it. It can't, it can't be about the bag. Aren't there other men that have the bag too? Like, I don't, I don't. Mm. And you saw how she felt when he was talking to her about the, um, he wants to get into the movie making. 
And, you know, that can go one or two ways. It can either be very lucrative or you can lose all your money. And I can definitely see that she was very concerned because I know she knows dollars and cents, too. And I can tell that he got in. He got annoyed. He got annoyed. If I feel like she manages the finances. I, I, I'm telling you, she's not stupid. That's what frustrates me about her so greatly. I don't understand. Or are we looking at a real life? You know, the little, you know how we be watching the um the ID channel, investigation discovery, and all the unusual suspects and 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 and, and snapped and crime, crimes of passion and, and 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 deadly rich and filthy rich and and all this and they took the insurance policy out and they married for money and did a, I <sighs> I, I would hate to see that we're just doing she, but she's just like, well, I'm just going to let them slow cook it a little bit, allegedly, okay? Secure the bag, and then, you know, secure, I, I don't understand it. Hey, what's up, KB? No worries. No worries. He surely was. He surely was. He went crazy, okay? Ashley trained in question. She wants world peace. I mean... Well, uh, I mean, isn't that what Candace gives? I saw there's a video on YouTube of Candace at the Miss United States pageant. Y'all have to see it. <laughs> She's always had nice knockers. I'll give her that. Uh, you, have, you think she has low self-esteem. Interesting. So you believe that it could be a situation where she thinks that's the best she can do? Uh, maybe she just feels bad about herself uh i mean it could be and then it just it, it leads me to wonder it's like uh it just has to be that i mean okay just from the outside looking in without knowing them and without knowing the day-to-day -day, right seriously it would have to be a lonely living there that would have to be so lonely to have yeah you got money and you got everything you need and there are no wants and you don't have to go anywhere because everything is there. Everything is provided. And, you know, you can't really go too many places without planning because, again, either you're filming a reality show or you're recognized from a reality show or whatever. So I would imagine it to be very isolating. When I think about Ashley's situation, I'm thinking that it's not, I mean, right now, it, it I mean, thank goodness for her. She's got the two boys. If she didn't have the two boys, right? And would have to be dealing with Michael doing what he's doing. And she's just there by herself. Oh, my goodness. That would be awful. Okay. You saw the video. I'm going to see. I'm going I'm to post it on my community wall. I don't know why she was so. That was such a tentative walk down that run. Down them steps. Girl, y'all all there. Y'all all got your, your Vaseline on your teeth. Okay. Y'all are snatched and cinched to the gods. Right. Y'all got stiletto heels on. This is what you do. You need to come down them steps and you need to have poise. Okay. Grace. I don't know. Thank you very much, Kia Morris. Thank you so much. I believe Ashley did admit to having an open relationship of sorts. And can we talk about the, the, the whole uh, watch what happens live and, and Andy's asking the messy questions and asking how many threesomes and Lord have mercy. And then what kind of threesomes are they? Okay, Lord, I mean, we I'm not going to say what I think they were and get us flagged and taken down. Maybe down over at Patreon, once we get enough patrons over there, we can go live over there and maybe I'll tell you what I think. Okay, but I don't know. I don't know. I hope that's not the only time he touches you. That's terrible. And then I've seen situations where people use the the um the group stuff to introduce the person that they really be had, that they're really kicking it with or that they really enjoy or that they really want. But they use their group element to try to play it off and just try to have you there as a bystander. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Let me see. But thank you very much for that super chat. I appreciate you. Velda. She's afraid to put her foot down now because she agreed to this craziness going into the marriage. I think she has a plan to stay until he dies the the like Erica Girardi unless Regardless of humiliation for the big money, but see the sad thing about well, no, no, hold on, it's not sad. My bad. The thing about Erica is they ruled that them people can, the victims can come after her money. So whatever money she has or whatever is going to be left to her, they can come after it. You know. So mm, yeah, I honestly think Ashley needs Michael's money to help her family out. Mm. 
Pardon me. I expect that's why she's staying. I don't feel bad for her anymore. I don't think she really cares. This feels transactional. She's she's super intelligent. Super intelligent. And I, I can't say that she's naive or, you know, she's walking into this bright eyed and just doesn't understand. Can't say that. So. My bad, y'all. It cut me off. So I'm sorry about that. If I if y'all missed me, my bad. I might have to stop, so I don't know what's going on, but it just cut my OBS off. Did, did the, the live stop? Did it stop? My bad about that. Um, Let me see. I need to see the video. I'm going to put it on my community wall, okay? And I might do a reaction to it. I'm going to be doing some of the best reactions, but what I will do when we conclude, I'm going to be recording the Whitney Houston live performance of All the Man That I Need reaction. Uh, let me see. A lot of women pretend to be lap um to live happy in loveless marriages so they can have security. Unfortunately, they do. Ashley appears to have married a daddy proxy, allegedly. Yes, Ashley is very smart, a planner and strategic. She reminds me of Melody Holt. Ashley even negotiated a postnuptial agreement with Michael. And it's it's interesting you say that, Ebony, because she's. I want to add pragmatic on to that description. Because she will do what needs to be done. Yes. Um, Kia Morris says, I think she's using him as an excuse to not give her mother more money. Wow. At this point, she seems to be with him to secure her bag. After all he's done, I can't blame her. Yeah, I mean, the embarrassment, all this stuff and ever. I feel like, uh, uh, unfortunately, you have to say fair exchange, no robbery, right? Ashley's family isn't worth a penny with the hole and the Lord have mercy. I'm not saying that to disparage you, Ashley. I'm not saying to disparage you. Um, Melissa, hey, what's up? Yeah, I don't know, but my OBS crashed. So my bad. Let me see if I can bring myself on screen. Um, I think everything was okay. I don't know what happened, but somehow, I don't know, but here I am. But again, I want to say thank y'all for hanging out with me and talking. And just I just wanted to get some some opinions and perspectives about this Ashley and Michael it does feel very business like it does feel like okay we know what this is it's an arrangement you're going to get this but i'm trying to think what is michael getting out of the deal if michael is allegedly cheating over and over because he's not satisfied then what is he getting out of this situation and if he's saying that his sexuality is what it is then or is he or is michael allegedly getting caught on purpose with women as a smoke screen to throw everybody off from the actual truth that there is an attraction. And the reason why he isn't, a, he isn't able to do you know, wife and, 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 and all that stuff. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe that's what it is because if you know that, the, 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 the cameras are on you, the blogs are on you. Like if you do stuff, they're going to catch it, right? So either you want to be caught, which I don't understand because why put the energy of denying it? Or you do want to be caught, but you're doing it for another reason. Just like Ashley is smart, strategic, intelligent, whatever. This man is very, very good at I'm saying he's very good at covering up the truth for himself. I'm going to leave it there. And what if you are doing these things because the conversation is so about, oh, you cheating on Ashley, blah, 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 blah. But it's really because you got, you really, you really want to hop on to the other side, okay? Hang on here to the other side. I don't know. What do y'all think? It would make sense to me, right? What is he getting from it? Good question. I think he's getting a beard. Allegedly. I think he's getting a way to kind of hide what he really wants or what he's doing. You know, these threesomes between Ashley, Michael, and whomever it isn't necessarily proven that it was a woman. Right? Michael has a young trophy beard. Okay. Allegedly. Right. He doesn't want those babies. His kids are grown. That makes sense what you're saying, Jaded. I don't think Michael wants to raise kids. And I put that in my review. I said, I think, well, I said, I think on, I said the opposite, QK. I said, I think he doesn't mind having children with Ashley, but he doesn't want to be married to Ashley. I think 
the optics and the aesthetics work for Michael. I do. Jada, what about the comments at the end of the last season when he and Juan were making plans to go to Vegas? Just them two. Oh, we've been dragging. Yes, yes. And, and how excited and all happy and lit up the face was and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rocky St. Clair, what's going on? So we already kind of see, you know, and, and, and if you watch a person long enough, you're around people, you see who they are, okay? I think Ashley understood that her husband allegedly has a like. I think Ashley was um, enterprising enough and, and had the entre entrepreneurial spirit <laughs> to, 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 to say, okay, I'll help you, right? And she knew that you had to consummate the marriage and offspring further helps that cause. Again, we talked about and y'all put up in the chat. She negotiated a postnuptial. Okay. It appears to me that she knows where the bodies are buried. Allegedly, she knows all the secrets. Allegedly, Ashley knows a lot. So as much as Michael pushes the envelope and as much as as much as as much, I dare say that the postnuptial must be something amazing. And I, I don't know what conversations or what uh, compensation is happening for her to secure her, her role to keep everything going allegedly. That's what I think. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you think he wants Ashley to leave? I think, I mean, if he had, if it was a perfect world, but he can't have her leave because then what's going to do, who's going to help keep up the facade, right? I think Ashley is too old for him now. Mm. Who cares about Michael choose freedom and happiness? That's what I'm saying. It's not worth it. I think it's cheaper to keep her. I doubt that Michael will really pursue a divorce. Uh, that's where Juan gets his coin from. He and old Rob got as much money as my nine to five. I mean, well, okay. Juan seems to be the only one thing that has a positive reaction to on that show. He lights up like a Christmas tree. Okay. Lights. I mean, lights up happiness. I don't see that. Every time they show Ashley and Michael, I don't see that. Even when they're at home and they're having family time, it didn't, it just felt so awkward. I imagine that when she is out of that situation where she doesn't have to, whatever happens and she, she has her boys and she's living her life, her best life. It's going to be amazing. I can see it. He got rid of his first family. Who, who's Ashley. Okay. Allegedly Juan seems to, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kia Morris says maybe she stands to lose big if she's the one to leave first, because I'm guessing if she negotiated a post nuptial, I assume that if it breaks up, then she gets wah, 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 wah. But you know, yeah. And I think he might be doing some of this stuff just to try to force her hand. Right. But if she knows where the bodies are kept and if she's got the secrets, he might want to calm down allegedly because she could let her, she could put him on blast. Um, Rob Dixon will fight for her man. Oh, you talking about Juan Dixon's handsome friend? Yeah. Juan and Michael have a deep connection, um, allegedly. Avi says, but she really did. But but really, did we care about Michael before the show? He does not need a beard purse per se. People already sort of know. I think that's for him to feel better about himself. You understand what I'm saying? Did y'all see Michael's reaction when Juan proposed? He was crushed. His feelings was hurt. We're not going to be able to hang out as much and all that stuff. But I mean, Rob, it, the, the, the weird thing is, it's, it, it's like when he proposed, Robin, I mean, his handsome friend didn't see him at all. Hey, what's up, LaVon? We're just talking about Ashley, Michael. I'm trying to make dollars and cents out of this entire situation. Like, why is she staying around? But the more we talk about it and the more we look at what we believe to be the situation, it's definite. We, we feel like it's fair exchange, no robbery. We feel like it's transactional, allegedly. We feel like, in our opinion, that it's giving very much, I'm going to do this for you, you're going to do this for me. But I kind of feel like she holds the upper hand, ultimately, and I think she's got the trump card. I think that she knows where the bodies are. I think she knows the biggest secrets. I think that she is playing on a level that we ain't even thought about yet. And I think she's already prepared for whatever happens, whether if it's a natural cause of 
ex, um, of his of him um, expiring, whether he finally take can't take it and he has to leave or he gets caught with who he really and what he really wants. Allegedly, there's a lot at play here. And I believe that she is displaying a really good temperament because I'd be going off. You're not going to be playing with me like that, right? You're not going to play with me like that. Uh, Yeah. How do you all feel today? Thank you all so much. Please share the video out if you can. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, please like the video. I appreciate you all. Um, shout out to our Wordsmith family and friends. We're only here about an hour. Y'all know I don't keep you long. I try not to. Um, but I, I appreciate you. I want to do some shameless plugging, if I may. Um, I'm going to uh, grab a couple of links. And I want to put my backup channel here, if I may. And I want to put the link to um, I put the link to my Patreon, but that's pinned to the chat. Let me just make sure. So the Patreon link is the pinned post. Um, you're always welcome to do super ch a super chat, a super chat, cash app, PayPal. Um, but I'm going to put the link to the second channel. It's tutorials and tech stuff for like beginners and stuff and like people that would do like what we do in YouTube. I'm just sharing what I learned. I'm not licensed. I'm not certified. I, I didn't go to any classes. I don't have any degrees or anything. Everything that y'all see me do, everything that you see on my channel, everything that you've seen has been learned on YouTube. People help me out and they help me learn. So I'm going to just try to help pass it along, try to help people out. And hopefully I explain it in a way that kind of makes sense. So we'll see about that. So let me just pull this up very quickly. And yeah, I'll um, have you all on your way. But how do y'all feel this evening? Um, are you all excited about the next episode? I kind of am. And I feel like a lot of the energy that Wendy Osefo has toward uh, uh, Mia, it comes from a place of, um, what's the word that I want? It comes from a place where, um, how can I say this? She's just jealous. I think she felt she was going to be the only My BBL journey, right? And that's what it is. And because she's not the only my BBL journey, she's got an attitude. And because of that, yeah. Let me um copy this. Let me know if this link works. This is the link to the backup channel. So if, just let me know if this link works when you click on it. Um, Hopefully, I do see some spooling. So we're going to end the live because y'all know how it is. And... YouTube be tripping, but let me come off the camera and that'll take some of the strain off the computer, but that should help. But um, if the link works, please let me know. Okay. Oh, thank you, Evangelist. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. We're about to wind it down. We're about to wind it down. Sometimes we do go a little bit longer, but I always kind of check in and make sure everybody's doing pretty good. Um, I've been listening, but moving around. Awesome. Hey, Kimiko, I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, she got outshined by Mia and she didn't see it coming. Right. And I think that was going to be in her mind, part of her storyline. Like, look at my new body girl is cute for me. I got a lot more confidence. Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to be selling these candles, whatever. But now you got somebody else and she's already got a business and she's already hanging out with the person that you had to kind of like go to and say, I need you to mentor me anyway. So I understand why she says she has nothing but time. Okay. Yeah. She wanted to remain the new girl. The link works. Does it go to Jaded University? That's so cute. I got to fix my banner. So please, um, I'm going to fix it. I know it's like, what the hell? I will fix it. I shared and linked. Love you. Thank you so much. Uh, please do two hours. <laughs> oh, Lord. I would feel so terrible because I know other people are alive. And, you know, I'd be like, try to be like, well, I don't want to like be live and all this. I shared. I'll hang out a little bit longer. Um, if that's cool with so the people that are here, if y'all are cool, I'll stay a little bit longer. Absolutely. No problem. And we can talk about this and talk about some other stuff. And, um, but let me know. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm excited about, I was watching love and marriage Huntsville. So I got to put the review up on that too. Um, the conversation between Martell and Melody's mom van, I thought was a really good conversation. And again, I know Martell is a jerk. Okay. And at the end of the day, Melody is really happy about living her best life. One of the things I really like about this Love and Marriage Huntsville is it's better. It's really, really, really good. It's black people, black love, black businesses. It's just amazing. Just people. It's not the garbage on like love and hip hop, right? And I really appreciated the fact that you can tell that you're looking at Southern people, right? 
And there's a way that you still, uh, you know, when she talked about how, when he was like, well, I came and I asked you for her to, to marry her. And she said, and I gave her to you. Like, I understand. I know, I know. But traditionally, you know, it was, it was a big deal to court and to, you know, present yourself and say, well, I would like to ask for your daughter's hand and, you know, may I have your blessing and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, Ebony says that Jada, would you do intro videos for up and coming YouTubers for a fee in terms of doing them myself? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Only because when I do stuff for other people, I put 30 times more pressure on myself because I'm like, oh my goodness, it has to be perfect. Or if it's not, it's going to be trash. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm not going to say definitively no. But I do think that what I will do eventually is I will be putting that on the the tutorial the, the, the tutorial channel, even to a point where I'll start doing some live streams and we can do stuff together. So I'll live stream working and how to and how I'm doing an intro, you know, step by step, and we can stop and pause and and talk and stuff like that. So I'll I'll be building that up, definitely. Uh, let me see. Joan, welcome. I love my peeps repping Maryland. Hey, shout out to the DMV. Absolutely. Okay. I'm here. I'm here in DC, but I'd have been all over Maryland. Okay. All the way up to the Baltimore. Okay. But beyond and everywhere in between and down to the VA. Okay. A tutorial sounds great. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, but again, I'm, I'm going to do it. Like I have the one video. I am, I'm going to do another tutorial video tonight. So I'll, I'll, I'll have two. So I have the reaction video, or I had this laugh, the reaction video, the tutorial video. I was going to try to squeeze in doing the uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville, but um, something was telling me, don't try to do too much. I, I have many options, and I want to make sure that everything I'm doing, that I'm not sacrificing anything in one way. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, a live stream would be awesome. Again, I'm, I'm just working. I'm just working. I've been all over Northern, Northern Virginia, the Tidewater area, Hampton Roads, uh, Churchland, Portsmouth, Suffolk, everywhere. Teach them to fish. Um, I need Karen to step up next week. Well, I'm loving me some Miss Karen. I think Miss Karen is in charge of the girls. I think that Miss Karen is, that's and allegedly uh, Giselle but Nicki Minaj allegedly unfollowed Giselle, okay? So I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, Miss Curran gives me life, okay? It gives me absolute freaking life, okay? Um, it went from three degrees to fake body. It's giving me very much just, just my BBL. Oh, Lord. Like, and I get it. Shout out, but like, you know, are you going to, I mean, what? And again, I thought she was supposed to be all about the business of like trying to get her essential home, you know, her essential business going and stuff. I don't know, but she keep fighting with Mia. Uh, Karen is everything. I agree. I'm from Hampton Roads and I heard how you said Portsmouth. <laughs> yeah, I was so sad when the most burnt chicken, okay, it's not there anymore. It is not there. And um, yeah, yeah, we can talk about down there. What's up, DT? I am doing well. Thank you very much. Karen carries the entire show. And I know that I was one of the people I was so worried about what would happen when Monique was gone. But as we see, I think Miss Karen has picked up the mantle and it's fun to drag Giselle. I dragged Giselle in my review. Let me tell y'all something. I'll let Giselle have it. I said, look, you could be, you could be likable. You could be likable, but you, you're not likable. And I don't understand her problem. It's like you so you got so much energy except for the person you need to have the most energy for. Why is he living in your phone? And if he's living in your phone, then do you love yourself enough to say, look, Jamal, I deserve better. You keep talking about you need your man eight minutes down the road. He can't even live with you. You just built an annex. You added another attic to your house and you mean to tell me that you are cool with him being eight minutes down the road? Why y'all can't live with, why y'all? That means you still gotta wait. It's like calling an Uber to get your back blown out. What is wrong with you, Giselle? You can't even wake up in the morning and get your back broke. You can't roll over in the middle of the night and get your back broke. You can't even sit up there and get some afternoon delight. You gotta sit up there and call and wait for Uber. I'm not understanding you, Giselle. I'm not, not at all. 
Bubba Sparks is annoying. Oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, B more is home. I do not like Rob's. So I help her the human prop. What's up, Lemonade? I'm glad you're here. Karen is the queen of Potomac. Uh, Miss Song, the key phrase, you could be right. Gizzard Net could be likable, but she's married to her phone. An annex, another article. That's all I'm saying. It's an annex. She's talking about the West Wing. I had never seen her house. So when they showed her house, I thought her house was the West Wing. They showed that little house, that little cottage, that little house on the prairie, that little bed and breakfast. I was like, girl, bye. Um, yeah, uh, Giselle wants what Karen has, and she will never get it. Added in addition to the she shed, okay. Sherry, she shed. <laughs> well, you know the first one got burnt down, right? <laughs> Allegedly, right? Giselle said she wanted a man with a record in season one. Because she, 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 she I'm going to tell you something about Hampton. Going to Hampton University. I didn't go there, but so, yeah, you got to know your HBCUs. And you got to know that uh, allegedly it was some fine people going to Hampton. That's all I'm going to say about that. And around that area, it was a whole lot of community and a lot of love. Hence the alleged hot pocket, the hot box, allegedly. Okay, you said she's a mess. Um, it is what it is, right? And the thing about it is, it makes me wonder, like, if something happens to Michael or if they divorce or whatever, and then uh, uh, we get Ashley, what is she going to do? You know, you understand what I'm saying? Is she going to just live with the money, take care of her sons and kind of go quietly into that good night? Do you all think that she's going to like be this next mogul or she's going to be like this visible face? Like to me, she gives me like uh, 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 that energy you get in a boardroom, an executive like shrewd. Um, she gives me very Joan Crawford, very much. Don't F with me. You know, this ain't my first rodeo. It's a barn, according to Alex and Terrence. OK, Karen has a successful business. OK, hold on. I got to plug the laptop in. Hold on. Added in addition to the she shed, I saw that Gizzard was extending the right of hand. She was extending the right hand to fellowship. Yeah. Ashley would get another man. Um, yeah, I think so. Or maybe she'll enjoy being by herself. Maybe she'll get a girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know what kind of man Ashley would like because I don't think Michael is a good indicator. I, I think, like y'all said, it's a situation. But in terms of what she may personally like, I don't know if he even fits that bill. You understand? She may have a whole type, whether it's interracial or uh, Latin or black or wh whatever. She may have a whole type. I don't think Michael is. I really don't. Uh, Shanitra, she definitely was and gave her a free Bible lesson on the life of Delilah. You are right about Hampton. My cousin graduated from there bad and bougie all day. I'm just telling you what I seen and what I know. Okay. They look good, okay? And like I said, there's a lot of community and a lot of love going on down there. I think Ashley will get multi. She might. I don't know. I feel like she's the type of person that whatever monies and whatever she does get from a post nuptial or whatever happens, I feel like she's going to, to just increase it. I do. She just has that in her, to my opinion. Um, yeah, that's what I think. Absolutely. So what I'll probably do, y'all, once I conclude, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to get myself, give myself a couple of minutes to just decompress. Then I'm going to watch this Whitney Houston performance and react to it and record it. And then I'm going to upload it to Patreon. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, I said I was supposed to do two things. I, I got this live. I've got, oh, the tutorial. So I'm going to do, I'm doing this and finish this. And then I'm going to do the reaction, upload it to Patreon, and then I'm going to do the tutorial video because that shouldn't take too long and I can upload that. And yeah, and then I'm a chill and I think I can do uh, love and marriage Huntsville tomorrow. So, um, yeah, and I think I'm going to do a live about Potomac as well. Uh, cause it'll be Tuesday. I think Tuesday might work. I don't think there's anything going on Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm gonna check and see who's live and make sure I can find me a window and slide in. You understand what I'm saying? Her type is money. Uh, yeah, you're right about Hampton. We want to hear from Michael's gay lover that was part that has a Cartier in London. Allegedly, allegedly. Uh, mother Hund, I heard changes women and the men focus on the kids. So, hmm, okay. Um, but again, everything that we do say uh, is allegedly. Um, we are offering commentary for the purposes of reporting 
reaction, um, comedy, uh, just giving an opinion. Most this is my opinion. Nothing I say is fact as, as it relates to anything definitive about these people that I don't know because I don't know these people personally. So it's all allegedly. Lemonade says, sadly, I don't watch any of these, but I heard they're good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The Potomac is pretty good. I do enjoy it. And I could be a bit biased because I, I recognize some of the areas uh, that they talk about and where they shoot some of the sh you know, stuff because, you know, you kind of be from you're familiar with the entire region. So it's just I think some of that is at play for me. Um, yeah. Yes. Allegedly. Oh, I'm working on a graphic. Don't worry. I'm going to put, I'm going to have something and this is going to pop up. It's going to be kind of transparent, a little bit of opacity going on. It's going to be boom. Allegedly it's going to flow. It's going to kind of float around on the screen. It's going to disappear. It's going to be everything, everything. Potomac is the best. Um, I tried to get into Salt Lake. I tried to get into that, but I don't know that Mary Crosby. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. You can't be messing around with your granddaddy. Nope. And before I let you all go, I want to ask y'all one question before I let you all go. I'm curious. I wonder why no one is really calling out Giselle and her tagline. I think her tagline is colorist, and I don't like it. Let me take this last five minutes to drag Giselle again. I don't like your tagline. I think your tagline is colorist. You talking about you're, you look this way because you stayed in the shade or something like that. You ain't got to say all that. You know, we know where that comes from. We know the implications of that. We know what that means. We know the context. We know what that means. So for you to sit up there and think it's all cute for you to do that. No, that's not cute. I don't even got to give you five minutes. I just don't. I just I'm just going to call it out. It's slightly colorist. It's slightly problematic in my opinion. Uh, let me see. What do you all think? We're about to wind it down so I can get to work. They did call her out. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. They should change it. They should they should they should really change that. I don't or I'm wondering when Nikki hosts the reunion, I'm hoping they ask her about that. And I want to hear what she has to say about that. I don't like it at all. Yeah, drag is in neck, the last lady of the church, the last choice. Aaron House of Aaron called her out for that nonsense. Yeah, I'm sitting there thinking, what the hell is wrong with that? Like, like that's like, I mean, well, to hell with all of us in the fields, I imagine. Damn, like, that's how I took it. Absolutely. Um, Yeah, but I'm really, really glad. Uh, Let me see if I can find a tagline. Hold on one second. I'll find it. Whew. See if I can get it exactly. She said the secret to this pretty face is staying in the shade. That's what she said. June 30th, 2021. That's what she said. Quote, the secret to this, the secret to this pretty face is staying in the shade. What about your neck? What about that graduated cylinder? Oh, slinky neck. Oh, caterpillar neck. Oh, um, um, a uh, redwood neck. Count the rings around the circle neck. Oh, three ring ring like neck. Oh, sit up there, buoy neck. Oh, bobbing in the wind neck. We can go on your neck all the live long day neck. Beef curtain neck. Labiaplasty neck. Oh, we can drag your neck. What's the secret to that? Yeah, she thought it was cute. I didn't think it was cute worth a damn. Talking about uh, uh, the secret to that pretty face is staying in the shake. No, you should be trying to find the secret to why you can't get Jamal to stay in the house. You should be trying to find the secret to why everybody in the head Jamal's wandering pain more than you. Allegedly, you should be trying to find the secret of why you is not one, two, three. May I count the ways? It's, let me count them rings around that neck. Oh, ligature lines having neck self having. Oh, no, man, Pamela, ladies and gentlemen. Non-binary and gender-neutral non-conforming individuals, the time has come to talk about Giselle Bryant and her neck because she has been called to the carpet once again. Giselle Bryant, the reason why we're going to be dragging you from here to perpetuity is because you do it to yourself. Everything you do is cause and effect. You are literally the embodiment of 
karmic law. You get everything you deserve because you work so hard to be such a terrible piece of trash. You're going to sit up there and talk about the secret to the pretty face is staying in the shade. You're a smart woman from the South. Cotillion did you a heck of a lot more and a lot better than you for you to be oblivious to that. So that's one strike. You sit up there and you got your wandering peen ass husband, boyfriend shacking across state lines. You talking about you seen him two or three times during the pandemic. The magic city to seeing him every day, allegedly. You need to go fix that as well. Then you're going to sit up there and try to give your daughter's advice. Your daughters dragged you and basically said that you don't have no right to be giving out nobody no kind of dating advice because you can't get your own affairs in order. So Giselle, you got three strikes there. Let me go on ahead and add one more on it just for good measure because I'm in a good mood and I feel like you need to be learning as many teachable lessons as we can give you because that's what it is. As many lines as you got in that neck, I got lessons for your ass. So let me explain something to you, Giselle Bryant, okay? With the husband, boyfriend who lives in her phone who is so worried about everybody else. You're so worried about everybody's relationships. You're so worried about everybody's livelihood. You're so worried about everything. Had the nerve to sit up there and tell about me. Don't ever send that to me again. Don't you understand? And when you sit up there and you be all mean like that, you put your neck down and you compress and you make one more, one more ligature line. You probably got diamonds up in your neck. All that pressure you've been putting up in there for all them years. I need you to stop dressing like you is going to be on season four of Star Trek Discovery, you're dressed like a Star Trek villain. Unitards and ill-fitted clothing. I am tired of you to sell. As a matter of fact, you, we're not even going to talk about you no more. I don't got nothing else to say. Okay? Nothing else to say to or about you. Okay? Don't let it happen again. All right, y'all, that's all I got. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, that's all I got. <laughs> I'm going to let you all go because um, I want to make sure I do the reactions and the videos. And um, there's a, a, a plethora of things that I need to do. And and as many lines as she got in that neck, I, I got so much to do. So, um, child. <laughs> well, I mean, if we want to go there, DGF, her, she's, you know how many lines she got in her neck? She's got as many lines as there are rules of acquisition. Your neck is literally the rules of acquisition. Satisfaction not guaranteed. Look, I got to go because I'm not going to be playing around with you all. Okay, look, I want to thank you all for coming by and helping me have a really good time in the live. I want to thank you all very much for supporting me here. Jaded University. Uh, the Patreon. Um, thank y'all again. And I promise you, I'm going to be working double time to bring you stuff here. The Patreon is going to be lit. The memberships are going to be lit. So thank you all so much. But I got to go. OK, I got to go. OK. Um, I will make sure that I go back and catch the replay. So if I didn't get a chance to say hello, then I'll definitely see your message and it is definitely not by intent. I just omitted it. And it is my sincerest apology. But look, enjoy yourselves. Have a good time. And I'm going to talk to you all next time. So let me work on this Patreon, this tutorial. I'm going to take a break tonight. Okay. And I'm going to talk to you all next time. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. I am out.